All right, Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala, back at it again with another Lord's Word of Edifying video through the Spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahusha, Bahashim, Rakakodash. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahusha, Bahashim, Rakakodash. And next up, double honor to our apostles and other bishops of Great Millstone who still go out there in the highways and hedges and feed us with 100% truth according to the Bible. And who well, we shalom, labachorim, wabarakim, shayasharala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel, the Lashimon Kodash, the Hebrew tongue. You know, pretty much just going into how our people, the Israelites, Okay, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. We're the chosen nation of the Lord, man. Contrary to popular belief, according to what the world thinks. So this is the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 1. It says, hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. You see, the children of Israel, not the other heathen nations. Okay? And the word they're supposed to be hearing is the Bible. And who's going to bring the truth of the Bible out? The servants, the prophets. Us, the men of the Lord, we say that through faith, right? Because we speak according to the words of the Lord. It says, and against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Yeah, you only. That's a possessive pronoun, you see? And guess what? That's a, a, a separate or a racist statement, man, made from the Lord himself. You see? You only have I known of all the families of the earth, the families of the other different nations, man. The Lord says, I acknowledge you as my son, man, as my chosen nation out of all the nations that I've created. Because he created all the nations, but he only chose one nation. It says, um, therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities, which is sin upon sin. That's why when you see our people eating these abominable foods, they worshiping these other heathen nations, gods, you see? They get punished severely because they're not supposed to be doing that. They're supposed to be living their lives according to what thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Bible says, to the best of their abilities. But by them being in a hedonistic state of mind, the Lord is deleting them, man, and sending judgment. And that's why he's, that's what you're seeing when you read these different news articles. You know, that's judgment from the Lord. So this is Joel chapter 2, verse 27. It says, And ye shall know. I am in the midst of Israel. Yeah, see? The midst means middle. You see, or near. You see? So, the Lord says, you should know that I am in the midst of Israel. And by the way, although our, the Israelites are the chosen nation, the, the, the only one who the Lord acknowledges on this side is the elect. It's all about the elect on this side. Keep that in mind. It says, and you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, of the elect, that I am the Lord, your power, and none else. You see? And that's plain. All right. All right. It says, and that's plain right there. You see, the Lord says, I am your power and none else, man. So the other heathen nations, Sleazy E, and the other heathen nations, man, on down. The Lord is not dealing with them on that level, man. You see? It says, for I am Yahweh Bashem Yahusha, your power and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. The Lord's people on this side is the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, but the two-thirds of our people, they're spiritual heathens on this side. Even though they are Israelites physically, but spiritually, okay, they're not. You see, therefore, therefore they got to get the judgments of the heathens. But the difference is between them and the actual heathens is that in the kingdom, when they come up to the loins of the elect of the kingdom, you see, they're going to come back right. You see? The heathen nations, they go ahead first into slavery when they come back to the lawns of their wicked elites. Okay? So now let's go from there to the book of Psalms 147, starting at verse 19. It says, He showeth his word unto Jacob. His word is just truth. Right? The knowledge of wisdom and understanding of the Bible. Unto Jacob, the prophets, the men of the Lord, the elect. Lord's willing to be a part of that number. He says, His statutes and his judgments unto israel see not the other heathen nations unto israel man it says he have not dealt so with any nation so the lord's not dealing with the other heathen nations man 
You see, when it comes to them being his uh, chosen people, the Lord is not dealing with them, man, on that level. It says, he have not dealt so with any nation and asked for his judgments. They have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Right, because they're not Israelites, man. You see, that's why they're going to have to be taught. And it's going to be enforced on them in the kingdom of heaven through that, uh, that king's scepter, man. You know, Revelation 2, 26, and I believe uh, Psalms, the second chapter, man. You know, it's going to have to be enforced on them. We're going to have to teach them that, man. Because they're not going to be worshiping these other heathen gods, okay, that they worship in Babylon the Great. No, they're going to worship Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshah. All right? So now let's keep it going. Go to the book of Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter, and the sixth verse. This is Deuteronomy chapter seven, verse six. This is the Lord speaking through the prophet Moses, right? Uh, Deuteronomy seven and six. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. Yeah, a holy means separate, man. All right. It says, the Lord thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. See, the Lord chose us to be the special people unto himself, man. You know? It says, above, not, not equal to, not underneath, above all people that are upon the face of the earth, man. So we're above these other heathen nations, man. Okay? And particularly the Israelite men, you know, which is the head, you know what I'm saying, of the woman. You know what I'm saying? You know, so we're, we're above them, man. All the other heathen nations, you know, th therefore, uh, they were created to be our servants, man. And that's, and that's in the scriptures, okay? It says, um, let's see. I'm going to read this over. This is the book of Deuteronomy 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shah, thy power. The Lord have chosen thee, which is goes into select Okay, to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. And you can't get around that, man. That, that, that's clear as day, you know. As a matter of fact, might as well go out second edges. Let's keep these precepts rolling. This is second edges chapter six, starting at verse 54. This is second edges six and 54, a oldie but a goodie. It says, and after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. Yeah, because we, you know, they, they'll say that we, we all come from Adam, which they're not going off. That's according to the scriptures, right? But let's read on. It says, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. Now, I just read who the Lord's chosen people were. It was the Israelites, man. Joel said it. Amos said it. You know, the Lord said it through uh, Moses, you see. And now Ezra is saying it, which he himself was an Israelite. It says, uh, verse 55, all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. So everything in the world belongs to us, man. You see, the other heathen nations, their women, you know, everything, man. The Lord was the Lord created this world for our sakes, right? But of course, we went off. So we had to get the curses put upon us. But guess what? The Lord is um, going to put us back up to their rulership position, beginning with the elect of the nation of Israel under the rule or reign of Moyahawasha, you know, and King David, right? Verse 56. As for the other people, the other heathen nations, okay? And particularly starting off with Sleazy E, the so-called white people, it says, which also come of Adam, Thou hast said that they are nothing. Yeah, see, they're vain, man. They're, they're, they're worthless, man. The only purpose was to be servants unto us, man. You know? And they're going to go back into that position, right? And it says, uh, But be like unto spittle, and has, has, and has likened or compared the abundance of them as a drop that fall off from a vessel. Yeah, you know, a drop that come up from a whole bucket of water, you know, you're not going to care about that drop. You see? You're going to go about your day because it's insignificant, man. That's how these other heathen nations are in the eyes of the Lord, man. You see? And that's then that's from the Lord, man. You can't get around that. Malachi 3 and 6 says the Lord 
for I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. So they can't change the mind of the Lord. So now, let's go to First Samuel 16. First Samuel 16. Let's go to First Samuel 16. Um, bear with me. This is First Samuel, because it's one of Samuel's too. I think it's twelve and twenty-two. Bear with me. Um, yep, this is First Samuel chapter twelve, verse twenty-two. Thwadi Abashim Yasha. It says, "For the Lord Yahweh Abashim Yasha will not forsake His people for His great name's sake." Which, once again, that's burned to the elect. The Lord's not going to forsake the elect because He made a promise to the elect. Okay. Those that endure to the end, they're going to be saved, right? It says, for his great name's sake. It says, because it had pleased the Lord to make you his people. You can't get around that right there. This is something that, that the Lord, it was, he, he was pleased to do that, man. You see? Because this is the Lord's movie. You can't change the script of the Lord's movie. He's the creator, man. You know? So that's how he wanted it. So that's how it's going to go. So that was pretty much it. Through the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Shah, that's the point. You know, I pray that this is edifying through the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Shah. Lord's will till next time I say Shalom.